Okay, so I've finally managed to find my uh, uh, camera. Um, gone, went for a little holiday in my electronics components box for some reason. Anyway, here's my new Raspberry Pi. And I thought I'd just do a quick show and tell on a little fr programming framework I've been doing for uh, OpenGL ES. Um, now, here's the make file. Um, it's been developed so that you can either compile and run it in. Um, uh, X Windows using an ordinary Linux box that you're more, probably more used to, but you can also, by changing a switch, uh, compile it uh, uh, so it, uh, on the Raspberry Pi, uh, so it'll actually run on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you just change one switch in the make file and uh, uh, just run make again, and away you go. Um, well, a very simple, uh, uh, half finished uh, example which just shows. Um, for instance, um, loading up uh, objects and uh, t saying which uh, shaders you want to use on it, uh, a couple of uh, simple shaders. There's also um, uh, useful routines for uh, printing uh, values to the uh, uh, screen, uh, which basically just works exactly like printf, so you can have all the standard uh, formatting. Um, yeah. Uh, it's all available uh, online on GitHub, and let me tell you, first time I've used Git and it's turning out to be a thundering pain in the, well, proverbial. Uh, anyway, I shall put a um, uh, clicky, linky thing uh, on YouTube for uh, uh, this URL, just to make it even easier for you. Now, without further ado, let's see the thing running. So we'll switch to text console. I think uh, what I'm actually going to end up doing is um, uh, having a little dummy uh, X Windows window open underneath the uh, uh, GLES context to uh, collect X Windows events. Uh, in the long run, it's easier than collecting raw events, and it also means it's then compatible with X Windows as well, because at the moment um, you can't use the, uh, the the demo from X Windows because uh, it, uh, the method of collecting raw key events, specifically key up events, uh, uh, doesn't work with uh, X Windows. So anyway, there we go. Let's run it. And uh, this is actually quite a low resolution because of the modest uh, performance of the uh, 3D hardware. Um, and it uh, uses the GPU to uh, stretch it onto the f uh, full screen size, which is essentially for free. Um, now then, uh, left, right, and we can fire. Ooh, look at that. These are all fairly modest um, uh, shapes, maybe uh, a dozen or so um, uh, uh, polygons each. Um, and it's you know struggling to get to about sort of 50 odd frames a second. Um, the thing with the Quake demo is that uh, at the end of the day, uh, BSP is a very efficient way of uh, reducing the number of uh, polygons you need to uh, uh, render, um, and it's certainly not running anywhere near like uh, 50 frames a second. Anyway. Uh, there you go. Um, hope you find it useful. Uh, it's uh, certainly a quick start. Uh, you can uh, put type things, and probably the most useful thing is the uh, ability to uh, dump uh, information on the uh, uh, screen uh, easily. You know, float values, integers, whatever you like, whatever Pintef can handle, basically. Um, right. There you go. Thank you very much for watching.